five friends of mine because of this thing that's going on. Once you see that happens, you know, you, you get real nervous. Who's going to be next, you know? Am I going to go home again? Or am I going to stay here? Or what's going to happen? Sally Gomez, and I was born in Texas. I get up in the morning at 6.45. Then I make a breakfast and make the lunch. And I'm like, I'm taking care of my sister, so I have to go and check her blood, give her shots, give her pills, give her a clean up, change her, and then have her ready to go. My name is Ernestina Torres. I was born in Texas in a little town named Grand Falls, Texas. My grandpa mentioned to my dad that we should move to California because they they told him that it was a better job and a you know better place to live and whatever. So my dad said, yeah. And that's when I started working with John Caporo too. And then all of a sudden, you know, he closed his business, so I moved to work with his cousin, Frank. And I worked there for 22 years until I hurt my back. When I hurt my back, I just couldn't work anymore. Well, I used to take uh, my sisters to dialysis. I used to stay with her inside, you know, all of the three hours that she was there. I used to take her lunch and everything, so we were there. Pretty hard because three and a half hours just laying down there with two needles in your arm. You get hungry, you can't eat. It wasn't as hard, you know, because she had company. But then after this started, I couldn't go in there with her. I couldn't take her lunch because she couldn't take lunch in there. So, you know, it was hard because, you know, we, I used to I used to go and stay there. Now I have to go, leave her there, come home, and don't go back. But, uh, you know, it, it's hard. I mean, I, I lost my brother with the virus, too, and uh, it was hard. But uh, then, like she says, we have to stay away. About five, five friends of mine, because of this thing, what's going on, pretty sad. I mean, and uh, once you see that happens, you know, you, you get real nervous. Who's gonna be next, you know? And that's my fear sometimes is that, am I gonna go home again? Or am I gonna stay here or what's gonna happen? <laughs> you know, uh, one time, uh, one of my niece came from uh, Sacramento. I guess when she went home or something like that, she called somebody and told somebody that she had it. Mm -hmm. And she said that she had that thing, mm -hmm. the, the virus, what I call it. And she came to my house, she hugged me, she kissed me. Well, everybody was scared. You know, they called and they said, you better check yourselves, everybody. So everybody went and got the test, even the girls and, you know, everybody. Salud para la gente to get the test. And uh, yeah, we went in there. They came to the car and, <laughs> and they t take the test. And, uh, and they said they would let us know in certain days. So we came home, so we had to stay home for those until we had the results. 
that we got everybody got the results fine. Everything was fine except for one, one my niece, my granddaughter. She was, she had it, and her friend too. So she was here. So she went to his, her mom's house, and her mom took care of them. But over here, we nobody got it except the her. And she got out of it okay, but I don't know. So I'm right now. I'm just not ready. I don't. I don't know what to do because um, my brother died of the virus. Her son, his son, got the virus. The the wife and the son, the, his son didn't get it, but he did. Now that I want to go to the burial or the you know roastery or whatever, I'm scared. I don't know what to do, if I should go or not. So I, I, I'm thinking about it. And then all this happening around, you know, that uh, it's hard. You want to be with your family? You want to see your family? But you can't. You just can't. My nephew bought me a, I don't know what you call that, like a, a like, tablet. A tablet, right. And uh, sometimes uh, I see them in there, you know, but it's not the same. Because you feel like uh, like if you want to hug them and be with them, you know, I just hope that this day will get over soon. <laughs>